Welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. I am going to have today one of Kevin's. These are the Nature Valley uh, Sweet and Salty Nut Granola Bars. These are the peanuts. I'll read you what it says in case you've ever had one. They are dipped in, they're peanut dipped in peanut butter coating bursting with peanuts. And believe it or not, I'm running low on bars that you would like have for breakfast. I mean, I have some Nutri-Grain bars and stuff like that, but they're lower calorie. Uh, although this isn't really high calorie at all. This is only 170 calories. And these have so, so, so much flavor. So I, I wanted to show you one in case you've never seen one. We've had these in a lot of our reviews though because we've done, um, we've done blind taste tests and stuff like that with them because Kevin's always wondering if there's going to be a brand that's going to beat the Nature Valley. So that's how it looks and it has so much flavor it is unreal i i really i'm blurry i know i i enjoy these very very much too i just don't eat them every single morning like kevin so that's what i'm gonna have this morning and i'll catch you later so it is about 10 30 now and i'm gonna have a snack and i've already worked it off on the elliptical so it's like it never happened um i'm gonna have one of these pumpkin spice nutri -Grain bars We've actually done a review of these. I really, really like them. And I feel like that, I really feel like I've eaten something when I eat one of these. And so I wanna show you something else that we have. We've reviewed both of these. We've reviewed, these are the uh, Trader Joe's PB&J bars. Somebody mentioned, I wanna say Brandy, that they didn't seem like there was, that you, it was just really small for the amount of calories that it is. It's 150 calories. And you're right, it is small. Um, and I didn't realize that until I started eating these Nutri-Grain bars. The Nutri-Grain bars are only 140 calories, but I actually feel fuller, or I actually feel more satisfied when I eat the Nutri-Grain bar than when I eat the Trader Joe's bar. The Nutri-Grain bar is 140 calories and they are, 37 grams per bar. The Trader Joe's PB&J is 150 calories and they are 35 calorie, uh, 35 grams per bar. So you get just two more grams per bar of these, but for some reason, it just, I don't know, it could be the shape of the bar. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why, but I just wanted to let you all know because we've reviewed both. I still love the Trader Joe's PB&J bars. I think they're awesome. Uh, I mean, if you haven't tried them, I would definitely try them. If you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, I would try the Vans gluten-free PB&J bars because they're very, very comparable. As a matter of fact, I would like to do a blind taste test between the two to see if there is any difference. Cause to me, when we tried them, of course we tried them at two separate times, but they seemed a lot alike. Anyway, I'm going on and on, I'm sorry. This is what I'm gonna have for a snack. The calories don't count. So it is 12.20 now and I'm gonna have lunch. Very simple. <laughs> I'm gonna have a package of these Austin peanut butter crackers. They are 190 calories. I will get back on the elliptical and work off the 90 calories. So I will only have 100 calories. You all know that I try to keep my, keep track of my calories as much as I can during the week so that I can uh, eat whatever I want on the weekend. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. For a snack this afternoon, I'm gonna have four of these Chips Ahoy Thins. These are the cinnamon sugar. They are awesome. And you get four of them for 150 calories. Tonight for dinner, Kevin is grilling me one of these uh, Johnsonville jalapeno and cheddar uh, sausages. They, um, I love them. I like spicy food though, so I really like them and they have a really good jalapeno seasoning and you do taste the cheese. They are, one link is 230 calories if you pair, so he's making me one. I'm also gonna have uh, one of these Vans minis. These are chocolate chip waffles and I have one left. So I'll be putting that in the toaster. That is, one of these is 80 calories. 
and then I'm going to make me a fried egg. So, and I've learned that instead of putting butter in the pan, I can just use a little bit of spray and then I don't have to use any butter. I'm always confused by this stove. I wanna make sure I turn on the, the right thing. Um, so, the egg, the egg is 70 calories, um, if you all care. So, and I'm just gonna fry it, break my yolk. And I forgot to show you um, for my um, waffle, uh, even though it's chocolate chip, I'm gonna use this blueberry syrup. I have actually finished a bottle of the strawberry and the, um, the regular pancake syrup, and I like it a lot. I will be buying it again, definitely. So I'm so glad you all told me about it. My egg, every time I wanna flip my egg, it, some of it runs out. And then I want that to get hard so that I can flip it over. This would not happen to Kevin or Ashley. Ashley's really, really good at making um, omelets. She's good at making a lot of things. I put my uh, waffle in, I let it go twice. Kevin's like, yeah. He thinks I'm talking to him. Oh. Huh. Kevin's like, why are you telling me that? I don't even know that. <laughs> Kevin made him some of these too. He hasn't had any yet so far. I've had like two out of the package. I get it moved where I really crave these, uh, the wieners, the Johnsonville things, whatever they're called. Sausages. Sausages, thank you. Sausages. Are you sure you don't want an egg? No. And so I'm just waiting for my waffle to come out and then my plate will be complete and uh, I'll show it to you. So here's my plate with my everything I'm gonna have. I don't even count the Walden Farm syrup because I'm just not that particular about, um, I'm not that particular about my calories. I think, I think there was a point where I was really, really particular and um, now I'm not as bad. So before I would have cared about that syrup, but now I don't. I'm gonna eat this egg, eat everything you see here and love it. It's like, I guess, breakfast for dinner, but I've gotten to the point where I like it a lot. So um, I'll check in at snack time. So Linda sent us uh, these from, from England. Uh, these uh, are made in Britain. It's Dip Dab. We've had this before in a video. Um, it's a sherbet dip with a strawberry flavored lolly, and it is only 89 calories, and I'll show you how it looks. I really enjoyed this last time. And so you just, you lick on your lollipop, and you dip it in here, and you eat the candy. So I'm going to be showing you everything I'm going to have for the rest of the night. If, in case you've never watched one of my What I Ate Wednesdays, I don't show myself after... I've had my shower because my hair's all pulled back and I don't know. I just, I, I look terrible. <laughs> I look worse than you see me look in every other video, if you can imagine that. So, anyway, uh, for my first snack at nine, I'm going to have two of these Laughing Cow cheeses. This is the um, creamy spicy pepper jack and it's only 35 calories per a wedge and I love it and then I'm gonna have eight Ritz crackers and they're like I don't know I think they're like 16 calories a piece they're five for 80 and I'm gonna have eight um, oh and by the way I ate all of my sucker every single bit of it I absolutely love that so thank you Linda 
Um, also from Linda, she sent us the, this bag of these um, uh, daily fish and chips, the salt and vinegar. Uh, we didn't, neither one of us noticed when we did the box opening. There's five mini bags in here. So I'm going to eat this at nine and then I'm going to have one mini bag of the uh, uh, Barton's daily fish and chips. And then at 10, I'm going to have, this is uh, uh, thanks to Linda, a lot of this stuff. I'm going to have a uh, Trader Joe's PB&J bar, which is 150 calories. And then I'm going to have a Tunix uh, tea cake. And you can tell I have been enjoying these very, very much. And when I opened the box, it looked like they were really mashed. But um, what I've noticed is, is just because it has like a hard outer shell, some of it, the chocolate has been cracked, but it has been perfect. They, there has been nothing wrong with them whatsoever. So... I hope you all enjoyed this What I Ate Wednesday.